Hey guys, Texas Garden Guy here, and this part of my yard is a mess. We have an AC unit sitting right here, and a while back I did an edging job with some river rock. This plastic edging allows for all the rocks to fall out the side. It's starting to dry rot and crack and break. And then all this sedge. Sedge is kind of unavoidable, especially if you mow and weed eat a lot. Whether you put fabric down or not, a lot of times when you're weed eating or something, you'll throw seeds on the over the side and you'll end up getting sedge growing from the top, not from the bottom. We will be going back in and adding a better plastic liner, but we're also gonna do this whole area. We're gonna redo this whole area right here that's kind of unusable with all this lawn. I mean, it's kind of just a pain in the butt to mow, so I think we're gonna redo the whole area coming all the way out to the edge of my patio here, just like we have on this side. On this side of our yard, we have two raised beds and this pea gravel on, on the bottom that kind of uh, fills in here. And we're actually going to be redoing this edging as well. This is, see how it's falling over and breaking off and making all the pea gravel fall out in the grass, so. My wife's afraid of lizards, so I'm getting this last little bit. She saw a lizard and it scared her.
All right, so after about three or four weeks, we are finally done. Obviously, you probably could have done this whole project in one day, but I didn't have a whole day to do the project, so I did a little bit at a time here and there, I think. I don't know how many hours it took me to do all this, but one thing I would have done a little bit different with the edging is run a string line so that it was more straight, and then I would have pre-dug a little bit of the edging holes so that it would have gone down easier because it's been so dry. My ground is like concrete, so hammering it in was a real pain in the butt. I really like the flags instead of the pavers. I was originally going to go with pavers, but the flagstone really turned out nice. The 4x4 bed is going to be perfect. I don't know if we're going to keep this an herb garden. It may turn into a pollinator garden or a squash garden or whatever, but I really like the way this turned out. Uh, we've always had plants up against the window with my irrigation kind of going that way, which kind of hides that, so it's kind of nice. I maybe take attention away from the AC unit over here, but other than that, I mean, I think it's turned out really good. This is by far probably the best project I've ever done. And I'm really excited to see if I can do some more of this in my yard. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. It has been a long process, a lot of work. Thank you to Living Earth Soils for supplying a lot of the materials. Thank you to Edgerite for supplying the metal edging. This turned out really nice. So hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one.